Kinley Cottrell, your Bulls insider here, and I'm at practice chatting with our linebacker who has four double-digit tackle games this season, Antonio Greer. You grew up in a household full of females with your mom and five sisters. Yeah. How do you think that influenced you and how that developed your character? Um, I'm grateful for you know all the women that's in my life, of course. Um, it was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> it was 100 a journey um, growing up with all, all women, but it was also a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, I value women so much, especially my mom, my sisters. Um, just get a different view of life. Also having father figures in your life, but being raised by women is, is, is awesome. It is great. Um, I look at it as, as me being a great person. That's where I get it from. Yeah. And how did your family come up with the nickname Yo-Yo for you? Um, <laughs> they started calling me Yo-Yo after a football game. My dad used to call me Yo at first. Okay. Yeah, I think my big sister just started calling me Yo Yo out of nowhere. Yeah. So. I love they it. Just ran with it. That's awesome. And I know your family instilled passion and emotion in you, and that transfers into how you play football. Oh, yeah. And your coaches have said that you are such an incredible leader. So, why is it so important to you to have a team first mindset? That's, that's like the only way to be. That's the only way you can play a sport, like a team sport with other people, is to have a team first mindset. Um, just not even like on the field when you go get a job, you're going to have to have a team first mindset. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, with that, it taught me so much having passion, emotions. I feel like that's the best way to do it because you care about it so much more. Like yeah. it means so much more to you. You try to build relationships with people, get to know them, their personal life, their kids, their family. Um, things in that nature so it brings so much out of you and it forces you to give everything that you got yeah and you also have a leadership role with your fraternity tell me about that and why you wanted to be so involved um i'm current uh, president of my fraternity omega sci-fi fraternity incorporated uh, both signed delta chapter here at usf um Boy, it teaches me the, the business side. Like, I don't know, it was like two sides of it. Uh -huh. And being president, you got to handle so much paperwork. And um, so it's like business. Like, I, it's there you go. strictly business. So I'm grateful to get the opportunity to not just play football, but to understand that there's a business side of football. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what it taught me. And I go talk to um, Coach Guy, Mr. Mr. Kelly, about, you know, finance and, um, talk to them about like business opportunities and things like that so awesome. I'm grateful, grateful to have that open that part of my mind up. yeah yeah and I know it means a lot to you because you signal your fraternity after every big play you make mm -hmm. what has been your biggest takeaway of all the resources and opportunities that your fraternity has provided for you uh, I would say the brotherhood um, like my downest moments um, we're not having the best of seasons going through adversity every game but um, they keep me up, give me a phone call before and after the game, nice. even through practice, um, hanging out with them, uh, spending time and affection, um, you know, just teaching me how, how to have patience throughout this whole um, situation we're going through. Yeah. So we're going to have our breakthrough here soon, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And I've got to close it out by bringing up your success this season, leading the team in sacks and tackles. What has been your standout, most memorable moment so far? Um, I'll have two of them. Okay. The first one was uh, well, the first one was Tulsa game. My first interception of my my college career for a touchdown was probably one of the biggest moments of my life. And then um, the second one I would say is like watching my teammates catching interceptions and like sprinting as fast as I can to block for them. Yeah. So, uh, like Christian just caught a pick since the Cincinnati game and yeah. I was happy for him jumping around I was like oh snap I gotta go block <laughs> I try to run as fast as I can and go block and make sure he got in the end zone and he got as close as he could so those, I would say those are my two biggest moments um, um, the, my, my success it means nothing if my team is not successful so mm -hmm. um, as I continue to have success as a team 
we're going to have success. So I just got to keep doing what I'm doing and bring other guys with me, challenge them to uh, be the best that they can be. We can all be our best together. For Tulsa from their 20, and the Bulls stop the run, and the ball pops out. And I think USF has it. The Bulls have forced a fumble, and Antonio Greer has recovered it.